time to time, I have the real pleasure of chatting with David Allen, the author of Getting Things Done. Now, if you are a follower of David Allen and GTD, he needs no introduction. But if you are a new convert to GTD, all I can tell you is he is the guru of productivity. And from time to time, we talk about various productivity issues here on YouTube. Don't miss any of them. Hit the subscribe button. Today, we're going to talk about the onslaught of meeting notes. Uh, I don't know if you're like me, but you can be consumed on an average day with one meeting after another. And in those meetings, you take notes. Uh, and sometimes, you know, it takes a long time before you ever get back to those notes to process them. Uh, sometimes you can't even remember what something meant that you wrote down. So I started by asking David Allen about the meetings that he attends and the notes that he takes. You, uh, you have a lot of meetings, I'm sure, that you know, are on Zoom or, or maybe some that are in person. Um, I presume that you are a note taker, that you're always writing notes from meetings because you always say you have notepads around you to just jot an idea. I'm sure when you're in a meeting, you're doing the same thing. To what extent are you writing extensive notes when you're in your meetings? And what do you do with it? Depends on who I'm talking to and why. These days, I don't. I'm not doing a lot of stuff in meetings that then I then have to capture a bunch of stuff I need to do a whole lot about. I was in a meeting, a virtual meeting, uh, you know, early this afternoon in my time uh, with a, uh, a new client that I'm going to be doing a, a remote um, uh, keynote for their senior team. And I took three or four notes that I needed to about what that was about, but some of it was just so standard. So I knew once we set the meeting, she was going to send me the invites for whatever all that was. And I got enough information that was pretty obvious to me anyway, that I only wrote three or four things. I obviously wrote something, an article that I agreed that I would send her. So I obviously wrote that down. I mean, that's why this, you know, these things are right here, <laughs> right here. Yeah. yeah, because God knows, even when you and I are talking, something may occur to me now that has nothing to do with what you and I are talking about. But so I can keep my attention focused on our conversation. I need to grab it <laughs> quick mm -hmm. and, and, and stick it somewhere. So I'm still, you know, a note taker. Just I don't need to take the volume of notes that I used to years ago when I had to manage a whole lot of detail with a client yeah. you know, and, and, yeah, me, and manage all that stuff. Let me take you back to those days, because I think people like me are, are in that scenario where, where the notes that we take in meetings are important for us to remember what happened in the meeting, what we promised to do, what other people have promised to do. Um, when, when you were in that game on, on, on a much more regular basis, what did your notes look like? Were they, were they complete thoughts? Were they mind maps? What did you do? It was all over the map, <laughs> depending on the nature of the client, the nature of the project, the nature of whatever it was. Ultimately, if I was uh, if I was going to do a presentation, I had a mind map template about all the questions I needed to ask a client, and I would pull up mind map, uh, mind mark, uh, yeah, I'd pull up mind jet, I'd pull up my mind map for that client, and I would then label that file for the client, and I'd start a mind map with the template itself that said. Okay, here's all the stuff I need to ask about the presentation. What's the tech like? You know, how about dress? Who's going to be there? You know, what are your objectives? How does this, you know, all right. So I had my sort of brainstormed, uh, here's all the questions that I probably need to ask or find out about. What, what are the key phone numbers I need in case there's something, some glitch shows up in my travel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, I, I had that, that template, that key, that checklist already figured out, and that was a mind map itself. And so when they, I would use that in our conversation on the phone usually, and I'd just have that up while I was talking to them, and I would just fill in the blanks while we were talking. You know, I can type fast enough to do that. Uh, so that was probably for the, the, the major events and major things I needed to keep track of. You know, what are your key things you wanted to accomplish with this? What do you... You know, who are the key people that, that you want me to be aware of, you know, in the audience or that, that, that are involved with all this. So 
again, that was just based upon a checklist that I had, but that was digital. And I just used it as a mind map. And then I just, at some point, I just printed out that mind map and took that with me, you know, mm -hmm. printed it out. Printed it out. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because believe me, when you're, you know, in a meeting or you're, you're walking into an event, you don't have to boot your computer and click, 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 you know, to be able to see something that you need to see when I could just have it in my hand. <laughs> there are people watching this who are going, oh, funny duddy. <laughs> <laughs> I would still do that. I would, <laughs> no, I would still do that. You know, come on, I, I, I'm supposed to create an invoice for some folks. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a, you know, a major presentation for a group in, in, uh, in Germany. And so they sent me uh, general information about the event and also the invoice because Germany has, uh, they're kind of tight assed about all the stuff they need now with all the EU regulations about how do you send an invoice to these people. So they said that, believe me, I'm not going to have to go back to the computer to figure that out. Anyway, so thank you. It's a whole lot easier for me to then craft on the computer what I need based upon this data. Sure. So, sure. And anybody who thinks you're going to get rid of paper just needs to grow up a little bit. <laughs> so, but there are a lot of people who are literally, you know, nine to five, they're in one meeting after another. And, and they're taking presumably a lot of notes, things they're committed to. Um, and they probably drop them in the inbox throughout the day. Uh, and it's, it's, it's tough to find time to process and remember what those notes meant when you come back to them, when you, when you really need to process them. Advice when, you say, when you say it's tough to do it, I go, that's because you're immature. Well, you maybe even forgot what the words meant in your <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. You know, oftentimes I can't read my own writing. <laughs> <laughs> and that 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 may be soup meta maturity called uh, you know <laughs> short term memory just went you know <laughs> went out the window you yeah know, so I I understand that yeah. but I think you, I think you just do what you need to do but I, quite frankly I don't think you can beat paper and pencil for just taking random notes informal notes it could very well be that you have a system and you have checklists and you have things on your computer like I did that best to have that in front of you in order to make sure that you go through all the stuff that you need to go through in your meeting. But even agendas, if you're keeping track of agendas for meetings, I mean, I would do those, I would print those out. But that's a whole lot easier to then print out that page. And then while you're in the meeting, take physical notes, you know, up on that printed out page of the agendas, and then go back, throw that in your in tray. And then before the end of the night, or within the next 24 hours, you pick up those notes and go, okay, here's what I need to capture about that. Here's what I need to put in my CRM or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. about whatever, about whatever happened. You know, uh, I'm, as you mentioned, my, my association with public radio. And so I started my career as a journalist and I, so I'm trained to just take notes. I'm, I'm always writing notes down. It helps me to remember things, but I am absolutely horrible when people say, would you take minutes of the meeting? Cause I don't take notes like that. I take what's important to me as opposed to try to do transcripts of the meeting. Yeah, you know? understood. Well, sometimes it's best to record the meeting and then have that hand that to somebody, you know, that's paid in a, in a lower pay grade than you. <laughs> Say, right. would you please transcribe all these? All this? Right, and, right. David Allen is the author of Getting Things Done. It's my pleasure to be able to talk with him periodically about various productivity issues. Hey, if you have questions that you'd like me to ask David in a future episode, uh, just send me an email, daveedwards at outlook.com. Go to my website, daveedwardsmedia.com, and uh, send me a message through the, uh, through the contact page. Or if you just want to do it publicly, just post it in the comments section below. Either way, we'd love to engage you with future questions for David Allen. And if you don't want to miss any episode, I ask you to do me a favor, subscribe and hit the like button below. I'm Dave Edwards. We'll talk soon.